hello today we're gonna have a look at Alaska I think Alaska is probably one of the easiest states to identify just because it uh, is so unique geographically um, it's uh, much farther no north than all the other states uh, much more mountainous much bigger um, and yeah this is what the state flag looks like not super useful because because um, it looks, it's kind of just blue in, in the same way that a lot of the others are, but I mean, it could help you out. Um, yeah, the geography is probably the most unique part. So we've got a lot of mountains, right? We've got like Denali, lots of glaciers, um, lots of high elevation kind of in this area, but also all over the place. Um, the largest population center is in this flat bit here, south of Denali. Um, this is where Anchorage is. Um, so in Anchorage you will see, you'll see mountains kind of around you, but not like in Anchorage. Um, but yeah, very, very mountainous. If you see lots of snow-capped mountains and it looks north, um, Alaska is probably a good, a good guess. Uh, here's an example of that. Just these like really significant mountains and very northern looking uh like plants vegetation so combination of those two things if you know you're in the u.s alaska is probably a good idea yeah so there's a lot of forest but it's very northern so if you know what forests in finland look like it's kind of similar to that different kinds of trees but they're kind of shorter and smaller in the same way that the northern scandinavia and russia um can look fireweed as well is common in Alaska, um, it's it's that purple plant you'll see it in Russia a lot as well, um, and other parts of Europe, but can be a good clue for Alaska because it is found mostly quite far north. This is what the plates look like. Um, Alaska doesn't require front plates, but that's a new rule. So in older footage, you'll get front plates. Uh, and there is a lot of older footage in Alaska. Most of the Gen 2 in the USA is in Alaska. So um, these yellow ones, these bright yellow ones are good to know because there's not, I think New York also has yellow plates, but you should uh, be able to use other clues to rule out New York or Alaska. Like you should be able to, if you've got yellow plates and it looks like the East Coast, you're probably New York. If you've got yellow plates and it looks like Alaska or Canada, you're probably Alaska, so. Uh, you can also get these ones, these ones with like the orange circle in the middle, which you can kind of see through the blue. Uh, and then these blue and, and yellow ones are quite old, but you do get them sometimes as well. Area code, nice and easy for Alaska, it's all 907. So, see 907 area code in the US, you'll be in Alaska. Um, and cities, it's mostly just Anchorage if you're in an urban, area it's probably Anchorage it could maybe be Fairbanks or Juneau but anywhere else is just too small to be like a built-up urban area um, yeah so if it looks super built up it's probably Anchorage so what the state highway marker looks like it's very useful it has the word Alaska on it uh, love that in a state highway marker it's also got the Big Dipper um, yeah so if you see it up close it should be pretty obvious if you see it from far away it's a square, you've got the number kind of on the right hand side and some text, so you can maybe tell that if it's like blurred out or far away, you could maybe still make it out. Um, then we've got some unique infrastructure, we've got the uh, adopter highway sign which is typically unique across different states. We've got these T-junctions, this one's pretty generic but the one with the red reflector is only in Alaska and Florida and hopefully you can tell the difference between Alaska and Florida. Um, so if you see that and it looks northern, it's probably Alaska. If you see that and it looks southern, it's probably Florida. It's a bunch of unique bollards in Alaska. These are all of them. Uh, if you're really into bollards, you can memorize them if you want. I <laughs> don't really care that much. They're a bit, uh, there's a lot of them and they're all quite specific to certain roads. Like these are very far north on the Dalton Highway. I wouldn't bother with them personally, but if you want to, you can. So that's it. We'll uh, get into some gameplay and have a look around. Let's uh, play Moving No Time Limit 
just have a look around, not really looking to pinpoint, just looking to see what the vibes of the area really look like. So here we are. Immediately I'm thinking Anchorage, just because we're in a town. Uh, <laughs> we've got mountains, south, quite big ones, east some big ones. Uh, yeah, no front plate. Does that mean this is new footage? 2021. Interesting. Oh wait, no. There is a front plate. It's just in a weird spot. So yeah, they're these yellow, it's quite distinctive yellow plates, which are very nice to look out for. So we're on Whitehead Drive. Let's go this way towards the traffic lights. Egan Drive. Okay. So yeah, very mountainous. Oh, we got some fireweed here, or just, no, I think that's just grass. Okay, Juno is to our south. Why do we have a sign to Juno? Can you drive from Anchorage to Juno? Or are we in like Haynes? That's a little confusing. Are we in Haynes? I, Honestly, thought this was Anchorage, but oh, what's Al Al K Bay? Is that a thing somewhere? Um, I don't know. That sign to Juno really is quite confusing. I guess the infrastructure just seems like pretty significant to be somewhere as small as Haynes. Um, okay, let's, let's go up this road. Uh, apologies for the movement. I'm using Australian internet, so this is the best that we have. Uh, oh, really? Really? We just went up all that way and you're gonna... No, it is fireweed, look. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well. Let's go this way then. See what we can see in this direction. I just find it hard to believe that this is not that this is not Anchorage. That's the way we went, isn't it? Walmart. I mean So mountains south and east. Mountains south and east. I mean, it fits for here, doesn't it? I just don't know why we'd have a sign to Juno. Unless it's like a symbolic thing of like, this is the direction of our capital. Uh, does Haynes have a Walmart? That's my next question. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, this is Canada. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna guess in uh, Anchorage. It could be wrong, but it was Haynes. Oh, it was just Juno. It was just Juno. Okay, Juno is bigger than I thought, because that was some pretty. Uh, that was a highway. Like, yeah, sure. Okay. I, yeah, I just didn't think there'd be a sign to Juno in Juno, but I also didn't know where else we could be. So that's why I, yeah, I was just a bit confused there, but that's okay. It happens. Um, so that's what Juno looks like. <laughs> Useful to know. Uh, big mountains. Which you do see everywhere, but good to know about. This looks uh, further north, I would say. I would say we're not in the panhandle here. Though we do have another big mountain this way, let's go have a look at that, shall we? So, we've got this kind of- is this birch? I don't know, but we do have those kind of northern, very thin, shorter trees. Looks like it might be autumn coverage. Um, I haven't learned the seasonal coverage of Alaska. Looks like Gen 4 actually, and Juno, that's mostly around Anchorage, so, um, 
east, okay. Big mountains, south and east and northeast. Like big, big mountains, south and east and northeast. South and east and northeast. We could be like, something like there maybe. I don't know. See if we can see a sign. Well, that bin had something on it. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but we'll have a look. Hi, what do you say? Alaska waste. Okay, well, that's, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really narrow it down for me, unfortunately. Um, school bus stop ahead. Okay. Cool. Sea land. Excellent. Got a bunch of trucks. Oh, here's one on the road. Northern Asphalt Construction Inc. Okay. Very nice. We keep going. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just very nice looking, isn't it? Like, I love to visit Alaska. Got some houses, got a basketball hoop. Candy Wine. That's an interesting street name. Oh, it's like the house name as well. There's the 907 code good to be aware of. Doesn't narrow it down within Alaska, but if you're not sure where you are, if you think you might be in, I don't know, which, which states look kind of like this. Maybe like Minnesota, Montana, North Dakota, Washington. Like the northern states. Um, if you're a bit confused and you're not sure, then 907 can be a good thing to, to look out for. For sure. Um, I don't know if I'm finding anything on this road, to be honest with you. It seems pretty rural. I think I'm going to go north of Alaska. I think where I've clicked is a fairly decent shout. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Run East Fairview Loop. There's Candy Wine. Uh, yeah, we would have got to the three eventually, but... <laughs> Who can be bothered? Now that's a uh, yeah. That was just lining up the mountains is how is how I was able to make that I guess. And and that's honestly a very useful skill to have somewhere in somewhere like Alaska is being able to use the compass to kind of narrow it down. All right, this looks kind of exactly the same. Uh, I can't read that. This might be Gen Three actually. I kind of. Uh, yeah, I kind of struggle to tell the difference between um, Gen 3 and Gen 4 sometimes, but just the kind of, if you zoom in on something and it's not very clear, it's probably Gen 3, because Gen 4 tends to be a bit more crisp. Um, but I think this is more fireweed. And we got more of those kind of shorter, thin trees. Very typical of Alaska. Got a truck, got some cars. Yeah, that front yellow plate. So this is probably pre-2022. Actually, it's 2021 copyright, so can confirm. What is this? The place. Okay, that's maybe the least helpful place name <laughs> ever. Is this a lake, maybe, or some water? Um, excuse me? You couldn't... Ivan's at the place? Who's Ivan? This is not particularly helpful. <laughs> Alright, we've got an American flag, which is also not particularly helpful. Um, I don't know what that says. Yeah, it's a bit... Hmm. Pole Street, sure. 
I'm just looking for a sign of the town name, essentially. Church. Church of where? Naz, Naz, Nazare, Nazareth probably is what that says. I don't know. Um, I don't really see any big mountains, which is a little weird. So I'm thinking it might not be Alaska. I mean, Anchorage. It is Alaska. That says Nazarene. Is that a place? Vert Fred. Um, if I could, I would. Maybe. I would have to do some research on Fred's political views first. Uh, tank rentals. Yeah. Um, not getting a lot of info. Fred, do you, where exactly are you? It's kind of very blurry. Hmm. Is this maybe Fairbanks then? Just because I don't think it's Anchorage because we can't see any mountains. There's a little tiny plane randomly on the side of the road. Wow, there's a whole collection of them? That's fun. Uh, dead end, sure. Understandable. There's the adopt a highway sign. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna very not confidently click on Fairbanks and just see where we are. Just because it seems a bit flat. It's not really flat in this area though, is it? <laughs> I don't know. I'll click on North Pole, sure. No, okay, it was just... Selamatov. Okay. Sure. So yeah, that was the flatter kind of bit um, south of Anchorage on this little peninsula. I don't know why we couldn't see mountains. I guess they're not super big down there. Um, <clears throat> yeah. No, yeah, I was not particularly confident that that was Fairbanks, but this area does certainly make sense. Just south of Anchorage. Funny river. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, alright. What is this, do we think? Washboard. Excellent. That might be the Alaskan flag, but I, I don't think we'll ever find that out. Um, oh, there's one of the old plates. You can see the blue on the top and the yellow on the bottom. Scruggs. <laughs> okay. Uh, tobacco. Cool. That just says Alaska, which is not particularly useful to me. East Street Ocean Road. Okay, that that is quite useful because that means we're coastal. Um, what does that say? Beads and things. Sure. Okay. Very nice. Quickie Mart. Is that not a Simpsons thing? <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't know. Uh, Alex, what does that say? That seems like maybe a place name, so I'm gonna move towards that. Alyeska, Alyeska Tire. Oh, is this maybe a Russian-ish part? Because that sounds like. I don't actually know what the Russian word for Alaska is, but Alyeska sounds kind of like it might be Russian. Which would put us kind of further west, but I'm not confident about that at all. Herma Fish Processing. Herma is a place, uh, it's like here. Yeah. I don't know why that knowledge is in my brain, but it is. Uh, okay. Cool. Um, do we think we're on East Pioneer? I think we're on the main street, for sure. Um, okay, what are all the businesses we just went past? Well, where's the fish processing is probably a good question to start with. Homer's jeans. Is that why 
It's called Quickie Mart. Is someone making a jerk? Because that's an excellent, excellent jerk. Like, you have to really commit to that. <laughs> that's quite funny. Yeah, it's in quotation marks. Someone was very proud of themselves for that jerk, and honestly... Like, fair enough. Oh my god, we're on the one. Uh, huh. Yeah, I mean, I know what town it is. Do we have a street name? This is Intersection Guesser. What intersection are we at? It's just East Street and Ocean Road. Okay, yeah. East. End Road. East. Well, Ocean Road's probably on the ocean. There's Ocean Drive. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Is it McDonald's? I think we're probably on the edge of town, like... Am I staring right at it? I'm probably staring right at it. That tends to be the way. What's the road angle? That would maybe help. Wow, I'm really struggling with movement at the moment. Okay, that's the road angle. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's this stretch. Can I get a name here? No. Bar Creek Birch, Bear Creek, Jackson Spencer, Williams, Thompson. Um, is this boring for you? It's kind of boring for me. I think I'm just gonna guess. We got the town, which is- oh, we're on Ocean Drive, okay. I thought we were on East, but apparently not. Um, yeah. I guess know your Alaskan place names? I don't know how else I would have got that if I didn't know that Homer was a place. Uh, yeah. Cool. Very lovely little town. I didn't know that the coverage went that far south. I guess it does. That's probably the furthest south it goes. I don't know if you get it in like these little tiny villages. I think there's a little bit on Kodiak Island, but I'd say that's, yeah, probably the extent of the coverage. Alright. Final round here. Uh, that sign is not useful. It's okay. Um, yeah, there's another one of the older plates, the yellow and blue. Uh, I think we're in a fishing village, because there's a boy. Let's go this way. See what we can see in this direction. Got more fireweed. It, it really is everywhere. Like it's a great clue for Alaska because you won't get it. Well, at least I don't think you get it uh, in the other states. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like mo much more of a northern thing. Okay. Let's have a quick look at the street sign. Yeah, I don't think I'm reading that. That's fine. Um, I might read this. Kenai... Weren't we on that road? Kenai Spur? Am I crazy? Am I making that up? I remember something like that. Like a couple of rounds ago, right? Am I making that up? <laughs> uh, mile 27. What does that mean? Sure. Mile 27. Does that mean we're 27 miles away from something? Well, something is in 27 miles. Unsure. Unsure. See what this green sign says though, this looks promising. Sorry, take me back please. 
Nikishka Beach. Okay. Um, Nikiski. Yeah. No, I'm not crazy. It is the same road. That's... Wow, okay. So... <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm quite impressed that I remembered that. Usually, I forget information immediately. Nikiski High School. Where's the beach road, then? Beach road, beach road, beach road, beach road this that looks like a road that could go to the beach nope that's Hundorf trail okay what's this wander drive okay kishka street okay seascape uh, we might be going kind of far away from where we actually are yeah i don't think we're that far away so kiski So what are we looking at? It's the road angle, kind of east to west. Dugan. Hollyback, Kalo. Oh, we're literally where I clicked. Cool, so take me back. We went west. It went west, so what's the intersection we're at? Please. Not gonna tell me. That's quite sad. It's a tiny off road. I mean, I think the road angle is gonna be the most useful thing here, as opposed to the street name, because I don't think there is one. Okay, it's straight east to west. So we're on this bit. We're on a tiny little off road. I mean, we might be on, like, Dugan Street. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, it might be this, actually. Is there another word kind of this way? Is that that? Maybe. We'll be close enough. It was Dugan. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. So that was, like, just down the road from, uh, from round three. Yeah, wow, okay. Cool. Well, that's Alaska. Um, pretty cool looking. I do enjoy it very much. It's a, it's a very cool state. Um, if I was to visit the USA, that would be one of the places I would try and get to because it's just so unique and cool. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any tips for me uh, regarding Alaska, let me know because I'm certainly not an expert. Uh, I'd love to learn from you all. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching.